How's it guys and welcome to another video. This time we were lucky enough to guide someone all the way from France uh, for five days of some epic fishing in Jeffreys Bay and Port Elizabeth. Got to work with Chris Young, he's an absolute legend uh, and a very keen fisherman as well. We got quite a lot of good fish on this trip uh, but we didn't film all of them. Um, so on this video you're going to see most of the better fish that we got on this trip. And just a warning, this is going to be a little bit longer format video. Uh, got some really cool baits, demos and uh, tutorials in there as well, so stay tuned. comfortable on that rock it's like just deep enough to not be too balanced Good morning guys, we are with Christian again today. Okay, good morning. And we are fishing St. Francis Bay, which is a, a town close to Jeffreys Bay, um, focused a, a lot around the choca industry and the calamari industry. Um, this area is the best in the country for our, for our local squid. So there's a lot of boats, the season's actually opening today. So a lot of boats are preparing to, to race off on their first adventure for the season. And then um, we're fishing the point of St. Francis and we're fishing the east side of the point. The reason we are doing this is because the, the waves are very big at the moment, not really allowing us to fish on the sandy shores, which we really do enjoy this time of the year. So this point offers a protection on the one side, while the other side is extremely uh, rough and turbulent, this side is calm, relaxed, which is another really nice reason why we like to book our clients in Jeffreys Bay, because we always have options on sides of points and bays, no matter the sea uh, or the weather. And then just quickly with regards to the tackle, I am fishing a 7 to 9 ounce rod, loaded with a very good uh, JDB 50 pound DNA braid, uh, probably breaking at around 70 pounds. And then um, I've got eight meters of 180 pound JDB leader. And I joined this by doing the FG knot. There's a lot of videos of the FG knot on YouTube. And um, yeah, today we are gonna fish. We're gonna, the water's clean and flat, so we're gonna try get live bait again. And Christian's gonna try enjoy some hammerheads and dusky sharks. And uh, if we're lucky, we can get a big bronzy we'll see. or a nice raggy today. So yeah, this so, is yes. what it looks like. That's the leader that we fish, about seven to eight meters of this, and then onto a steel trace of 150 pounds to 250 pounds, depending on the color of the water. If it's brown water and, and, and a bit busy, then we can get away with 250 pounds, a thicker steel, a bigger hook. But if it's calm and flat, then we try to fish a little bit more uh, finesse. You know, we, we fish a little bit lighter, smaller hook and smaller steel. Cool, let's go. passionate fisherman from France and um, he actually casted this bait all by himself 
and he's hanging with a very decent fish. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. He's fighting a bit like a, a, a stingray, maybe a black ray. So let's see, maybe it's a shark, but maybe a big stingray. Maybe a stingray. So freaking fortunate. The fish was just wrapped around the rock. So the fish was on this side of the rock, but we couldn't get it loose on this side. And then unfortunately it cut us off. The fish was in front of us, but the big waves and the client in front, Ajax couldn't grab the fish, it was a bit too dodgy. Try to get the client out of the way. Uh, they all came just past his face. Nice one, 150, 160 kilos. Quite pissed off now. You're gonna say Bronzy. You're gonna say one, two, five. Location is? Uh, Jim, uh, no, St. Francis Bay. Yes, St. Francis Bay. Angler, you're gonna write your name there. Christian uh, uh, Costa yeah. and the date. Ah, yes. Okay, so today was day one with Christian. Uh, we had a decent day. It was a little bit slow with the big fish, but quite a lot of hammers and grays and uh, little bronzies around. Not a lot, but there were some around. And of course we fought that monstrous black ray, had it, well Ajax basically had it by the tail. Unfortunately the line broke and wave washed it away. It's Christian's first day surf casting in South Africa. Yes. And how did it, how was it, different or? <laughs> it's a big different. <laughs> big yes, difference. yes, yes. Uh, but you did well, huh? Yes, yes. I don't know. You are my teacher. He learned a lot. Yeah. So let's see. Excited to see how this week goes with him. Oh, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for the for this full day. <laughs> okay, so this is the rig that we are using for um, live mullet. It's the point here. This is more focused around the hammerhead and the dusky sharks. But if we do hook a big shark, it can handle it. So it's a 50, 50 centimeter piece of 150 pound steel. It's a very soft steel. Um, for the South Africans, it's uh, that Dale Mac steel uh, or Surflon from AFW, American Fishing Wire. And then onto here, I've got a tennis racket string, um, which is a 1.4 mil um, um, thickness. And I basically have a running swivel for 1.2 meters plus the 50 centimeters of steel onto a 90 SSH um, or BKK hook. Those are my go-to. And then I'm obviously throwing a seven ounce uh, weight with a, with a nice wire. Um, yeah, and this is probably my go-to rig for, for all sorts of fishing. In South Africa, we call it a fisherman's straw, a fisherman's trace, because you can catch everything on, on this trace. Um, if the big fish are around, then I would go straight full, full steel but nice to fish, fish like this. And I just joined the two using a, a figure eight knot. So this is the, the local squid we were talking about. I like to take everything out so I end up with a piece like this. It's much easier to work with. It's also known as white gold at the moment. I'm gonna make a little ball bait for for a hammerhead. 
and it consists of a couple of layers. I like having a piece of the ink. You just beat the ink into the chalker. Also, a really good uh, car bait by us. And now I'm just gonna cut myself little blocks to work with. Pull the bait around the foam. Yes. Makes it easier to cast. Makes it a bit of float. So a little nice trick is the first few layers you do nice and hard with a lot of foam, a lot of cotton keeps it in place and then as you go out put a little bit less cotton and a little bit softer choker so this is when the fish bites it it doesn't it feels more natural but then if the peckers come and they eat it you still got the hard layers at the bottom that are left over so soft as you go as you build your bait outwards you make your bait a little bit softer and a little bit less cotton A little chocker ball. I'm gonna clip onto the sinker, and Christian's gonna cast for us for a hammerhead. It'll be a yellow tail. We're lucky. We actually caught a young little grey. The water is so clean. We put it out for live bait. Um, so not our favourite thing to do in the world, but we do it from time to time. We're allowed to keep one of them a day, so completely within regulation. And we actually, I just took it in the anal fin at the back. It's the softest, thin, softest fin of, of the lot. So if you don't get a bite, you start your drag and pull it hard. It pulls loose and the fish is free to go um, but hopefully we will get a bite about five kilos Let's see show down show down show down show down and So generally we don't like to follow a fish almost in any circumstance unless they are fellow anglers that are left or right of you. Usually it's better to stay stationary. The fish seldom goes one direction and stays at it. Usually it wants to go figure eight. So stay one place. As soon as you start moving that's when the slack line, that's when the line gets snagged on the rocks. So we stood nicely and higher. The fish was going parallel to the rocks. Uh, my client was actually saying, no, we should move, we should move. I said, no, just wait one second. As long as we had a nice level, the sea is calm and flat. Fish turned, hit its rock against the head, basically. Its head against the rock, sorry. And turned and came, came, came right back. And it's almost dead in front of us. Definitely a nice reggae. So, hopefully we get it out. One or two obstacles to go. shows you these guys are very uh, greedy had a whole yellowtail carcass still in there and uh, it still ate that whole grey we got both hooks out so and it's a tagged fish very cool and um, we're gonna get a measurement very big male reggae you can see she's nicely in the water we're gonna wait for it to pull back a little bit we're gonna take a lack of photo for christian well done the first big cool. one yeah there we go, go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can go with him. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, guys, it was a a slow day, but uh, our last chance miracle thing that we tried worked off. Uh, paid off. Sorry, worked out. Paid off. And we got a very nice reggae, Christian's first reggae. And like I was just telling him now, it's it's nice to see the reggae. Um, 
we're catching a lot of bronzies um, which is great but it's good to see 100 plus kilo reggae for a change and I think under the circumstances of the flat clean sea one fish over 100 kilos if you told me that this morning I would have taken it so yeah tomorrow we'll go to the beach the sea would have flattened out and it's game on and it's bronzy time let's go this is heaven in my mouth the best by far I have to order two. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. I like it. Yeah. He's telling me. Ready, ready. Tell the camera. Oh. <laughs> he wants a video, but he's shy to speak. You know, but we thought me in a video. <laughs> Ajax is dreaming about his. <laughs> okay, let's go. So at the beginning of this trip, we asked Chris Chan what his dream fish would be to catch in the world, anywhere in the world. Um, and we get, we get answers like Seychelles, Gabon for Tarpon, the US, Australia, all kinds of places in the world where you can catch incredible fish. And Chris Chan said his dream fish would be a big bronzy in South Africa, which surprised all of us firstly so naturally we had to try and make that happen so that was the focus for the last three days pretty much is to get hooked into the decent ground okay welcome to Sundays we are chasing a bronzy water actually looks half decent for a cob too uh, but too deep where we are and um, it is day three, yeah, day three of his trip, and I'm gonna let him try cast a live mullet himself. Um, the fish eat really, really close, and he's someone that will really appreciate having a, a try. So, bringing him up on a same fisherman strop, 40 pound DNA on my um, championship six horizon, a little bit lighter rod, so easier for him to cast. And um, yeah, 40 pound DNA can handle anything, so let's give it a go. Okay. Now we're in it to win it, boys. In it to win it. Days of guiding is catching up. Well, let's get this on camera. Voice to me, I'm on with a nice brandy. Yo, 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 yo. Left and end, America.
Hey, Madala is working today. Ah, how's Madala? I go. I go now. Hey, this bronze is finishing me now, right? Eh? I enjoy it. Fine, if you get tired, just give me the rod. Sorry? If you get too tired, just if you my dollar back is kicking in, just give me the rod. No, I don't give anybody. <laughs> How does your birthday present feel? Yes, nice my friend. Very nice, yeah. Yeah. That's on his own cars, boys. Well done, bro. Well done, bro. Diamond, nice little surprise. A diamond dusky and two bronzies. Good morning, fishing. Okay, okay boys. Today was a beautiful day, but the fish was too slow. But we got some uh, different of pieces for um, the bronze, reggae, diamond, tray shark. At least tomorrow is another day. We're gonna see where we're gonna go. Thank you, my friend. Okay, it was a nice day. Okay, see you. How's it, guys? We are we back at Sundays today. Um, we decided with the fishing yesterday. Um, that was good in the morning. We're gonna give it another bash today. Um, conditions are are same as yesterday, but the water is a bit clean. It is flat. It looks very nice. But I think um, live bait is gonna do the trick today. So we're gonna put in um, two dead baits, and then we're gonna look for some live baits. We are fishing a nice a nice bank here in front. But the bank here on the right, it looks like we'll be able to fish the whole day. We are fishing the push. Um, on the left it gets a little bit deep when it's high tide so we're just gonna gonna see what happens maybe we move left or to the right um, but i'm very excited for today christian really wants to catch a, a bronzy so we're gonna try and get him a bronzy for today but anything big will do yes Jumped off. You see him oh. on the surface. Yes. Oh. Okay, guys, we've managed to hook up to a, a nice bronzy. <coughs> Sorry, we've got uh, Carl fishing to the right of us. He hooked up to a nice fish. It's a big fish. So his fish came all the way to the left, and then as he came over, our rod went. So we're just doing some line management here. Um, but it's exciting. We got hit off. On our previous previous bait, um, nice bronzy, it was uh, eating the mullet on the surface and hit us off on the leader. Um, but we managed to hook one and um, very excited to land it. Okay, boys! <laughs> yeah, we got a nice bronzy, eh? And the fishing a little bit slow today. But we're trying to do our best and uh, we hope we can land this one. We got another brown, the big one, but it cut us off. But yeah, we're hoping and take this one out in the water. We'll be back. Christian's bronzy is uh, close. I'm gonna go and land it now. But Christian was fighting, we got a bite on the other rod. Ajax ran. The rod almost well it went into the water. Luckily Ajax saved it, but he's onto a fish. But this land uh, Christian from the
Stand war das. Hey, mit der anderen Zeit. Ja, wir lernen das erste Mal mit all der zweiten Runde. Es ist sehr schön. Ich bin so happy. Ich kann nicht mehr zu lernen. Das ist so, komm, Boys, komm, komm, komm. <lacht> 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 Round is waiting. We wish we can get another bronzy. And then I think we're done for a day. Okay, so, so I'm yeah. just gonna explain to, to Christian the the way we cast. Um, at the moment he's casting overhead, which is fine. But the way we fish here in South Africa, we wade onto sandbanks. So you're always in the water when we cast when you cast so it is very difficult to throw over it that way so usually you are in the water your arms are up so the way you swing the sinker down I was explaining to him yesterday yes so what I what I like to do is with my drop I measure it so it is the second second to first eye from the bottom okay that is usually what I do depending on how deep I walk then I can always make the drop a bit shorter but that is always my go-to so if it's if i'm a little bit deeper in the water i yes, make it yes, shorter yes, yes, yes otherwise yes. i just keep it like that okay then i wrap the braid twice around the bionic finger it's not necessary but then you don't have to tighten the drag so much yes open the bail i make sure the spool is at the bottom and the bail arm is facing forward yes okay then what i do is I drop the sinker and you can see when the sinker goes down it goes up as well yes so when it goes up at that highest point when it starts falling when it starts falling down I use that momentum to come through as well so that same loop it goes up you want to follow that loop yes but then you can you can throw more over the side of your body okay yeah okay so just look at the loop also try and face a little bit forward maybe maybe 45 you don't have to face straight on yes you can turn a little bit ah, yeah yes not, okay okay not on the side i ah, not see it you okay wanna, ah, you want to face forward yeah okay 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 you see the drop fall down <laughs> and then you want to you want to follow that you want to as the sinker goes up it falls down you pull down and up uh -huh, yeah okay And good morning guys, welcome to day five. Yeah, day five, Uncle Gusta. Today is day five, last day with Christian. Is yes. that a, a nice trip? You enjoy it so far? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm glad. Today um, we wanted to try something a little bit different. So we had Cabalios, we look for a variety of species. Uh, of course, uh, bronzy over two meters is still a target. So we will go for the bronze here with 2 meters. We've got them all, 199, 198, 197, but not 2 meters. So yeah. we're going to try and get that and maybe a Garrick, maybe a Cobb, a little bit clean for Cobb. And of course we're going to fish for a Diamond, Dusky. Yeah, we're going to catch what's biting. That's what we're going to do today. It's low tide now, it's 9 o'clock, spring low. I expect it to be a little bit quiet first thing. And then as the tide pushes and the east starts to blow, maybe we'll get a couple more bites. So stick with us, stay tuned and enjoy. The first thing we do is we get our own rope. We make it at about two to 
four meters longer standard rope is too short for me right but that's only if you want to practice standard rope is fine you're going to use your your strong hand in my case it's my left you're going to make nice cowboy loops with your strong hand it's also tied around my wrist onto my strong hand and I'm going to make nice small loops not too big because then they get tangled with the, the net right and everything goes into your strong hand always pick up your net make sure it's not tangled then I like to fold it a tiny bit I like to have it just above hip length if I'm on dry sand that's me some people like it longer some people shorter if I proceed deep into the water I will make it shorter depending on my requirement you see I can make it literally this short if I need to but we're on dry land like to have a hip length take your weak hand in my case it's my right pick up the weight and that's going to be in two parts right you're going to put one into your thumb on this side this one you're going to slide down so you get a nice uh, right hand right right hand triangle basically right slide down there we go then I'm facing this way I like to face as if I'm playing cricket so my right hand although I'm facing this way the beach is this side right so let's pretend the beach is this side so the ocean is there I like to face parallel to the sea and look into the direction that I want to throw then I use my hip and I'm going to rotate have to use your arm to make a circular motion and your right hand in my case the weak hand you let go a split second later right just check it in motion so nice from the hip like a golf shot right christian your turn <laughs> Definitely long last day, I was almost about to doze off there and as I blinked I saw the rod go live bait was in, it's on a full high tide so we've been fishing since then no bite until this one not really sure what it is, fighting a little bit slow maybe a raggy pup but a bite nonetheless In. That brings our trip with Christian to a close for the five days. <laughs> okay. What do you think? You like it? I, I, yes. It was a, it was a very great week. Correct. And I am uh, very glad, be, very glad to have caught uh, Bronzy. Yeah. And some other species. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, no, very, very good. Well it's very, very impressed. Yeah, that's good. And uh, I was, I don't know, not sure about the how to use the rod, and that uh, it's very a pleasure for me to, to learn to learn and to use your uh, yes, fishing rods at your equipment. 
and uh, thank you Duval for the happiness you give me. Thank you my friend. Very. Thank you yeah. for supporting us. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank you Ajax. Thank you so okay. Much. Okay. Thank you. And uh, hopefully maybe see you another time. Yes. Uh, as you say, no, say no, no fishing, no life. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Fishing is life. Oh, so fishing is life. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Cheers, you. guys. Thanks for watching. Yes. Let us know Thank if you like these. Thank um, you, Gustav. Always a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Let us, and, know, uh, let us know if you like these guiding and, vlogs. No, and okay, and I forgot. So many, many thanks, many thanks for your patience. Patience, correct? Yes. Because you need to repeat many times. That's okay. Because, uh, sorry, I cannot understand any times. And, uh, I, maybe I ask you many explanation. It's good though. We like it. But, when, uh, we like it when people are passionate and, yes. and hands on and want to try the South African techniques because we are very different to, sure. to other countries. You know, with the short butt, the bohemic yeah. finger, the dingle dangles, the long weights. So it, uh, and getting because goosebumps. we are the best. It's nice. We are the best in the world. Yeah, we are. We are. South Africans are the best. You are the best for sure. Yeah, I challenge any other country. <laughs> no. Except in Namibia, they're quite good as well. <laughs> but so, yeah, uh, nice to have clients that want to engage. You know, it's uh, it's two weeks in a row now. We had the guys from Singapore and you from France. Okay. They like to try our methods and experience the casting and the debate so it's nice it brings me joy when people want to try it so and now we try to do not the same but i will try to in france in france yes and you well, but divan show me that so. <laughs> you know divan yeah please check the website divan show me oh, okay <laughs> we'll see no but i try i try but again thank you again again thank you again thank you again very thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sorry. Anytime. This Hope is Gustav. Soon. And, uh, this is Gustav, the cameraman. Yeah, just but for uh, those uh, that haven't I, seen I him yet. I repeat the team, the, 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 the big happiness you give me, really. Any day. Really. It's from. Uh, Hope really. to see you back soon. Hopefully, it's from my heart. It's very. <laughs> and I'm very keen to go to France, guys. So <laughs> let's make it happen. Well, okay. Let's make it's it happen. Okay. And ah. also, guys, if you want to add videos to your packages and trips with Duvan. Uh, that's also going to be available, so check it out. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>